what's going on guys and welcome to your 31st javascript tutorial or basically a quiz by david sheriff uh, in the last quiz section we covered question number one to five with proper explanation and reasoning of every question and its solution so coming to question number six we have this problem right here which says uh, what should be the result of this so basically whenever we subtract something from a string it automatically gets converted into an integer so what's happening down here is if you uh, looked into my previous tutorials then plus sign plus operator is used for concatenation of strings and adding of numbers so basically a plus b is a b so this process is known as concatenation and plus is used in concatenation as well as in the adding of numbers but minus sign is only a mathematical operator or an operator simply which is used for the calculation only and if I do a minus b then this thing doesn't sum up to JavaScript JavaScript says how could I subtract a from B so it throws an error which says a not a number so basically as we saw minus sign converts these two here into integers because plus sign JavaScript knows okay that these two are strings then I know then I have to concatenate these two but minus sign JavaScript automatically treats both of these as numbers so basically what's happening here is we are basically treating these two as integers by using the negative signs and one sign is enough to convert both of these to integers and the next sign basically follows the mathematical rule that 1 minus minus 1 is basically 1 plus 1 isn't it if you have learned in your mathematics class that minus minus is plus and plus minus is minus minus plus minus uh, like that so basically what we are doing is we are converting these two numbers or basically two strings right now into integers and then we basically are performing a mathematical operator with using a double negative which basically means adding these two so if we do like one plus one then this here means concatenation of strings but if we do 1 minus minus 1 then JavaScript says okay so let me first of all convert these two into integers if they are actually integers and I'll then perform the future operations so JavaScript with the help of one symbol converts it into an integer and this operation becomes 1 minus minus 1 and then with this operator JavaScript converts this into in an integer as well and this operation becomes 1 minus minus 1 and then JavaScript follows its mathematics rule and does which evaluates 2 and the answer you know now right now which should be 2 okay now we have this question number 7 down here let's clear the console okay so it says we are initializing x to 3 we have an object here an object literal we are assigning the x value to 2 we have the object inside an object then we are assigning x to 1 then we have a function down here return this dot x okay okay so now what we are doing is we are creating another variable go foo dot bars dot bar okay okay pretty interesting now what actually appears here is not happening we are basically assigning this go as foo.bars.bar and calling it as a function now you may think that this thing right here is similar to this thing because these are same but here's where scoping comes in JavaScript now if you remember from my playlist tutorial where I taught you the uh, the this keyword thing this keyword yes I remember that I taught you about this keyword this keyword and 
explained you what is scoping in this keyword and what does this refers to so basically this refers to the owner of the object we are creating so here we have this function down here and the owner of this function down here we are assigning it into go and what is the owner of the function of the function go right now it's the window object I'll explain it again so what's happening down here is we are assigning this function down here to go go variable now this is similar to oops this is similar to creating a variable go like a function and return this dot x and why it is like this because we are assigning this function the bar function right here to the go and as I told you this refers to the owner of the function and the owner of this function down here is the window super global so this dot x refers to window dot x and window dot x down here is what is x which is declared in the top scope so this should alert 3 and this one down here should obviously in its scope which is the owner of this function is bus and this dot x is 1 so the order of alert should be 3 and 1 and bingo okay so now we have this thing I guess I told you this exact same thing in my last couple of tutorials or maybe a more and if you have saw them then you could immediately answer this question and what's happening down here is this is similar to if we simplify this code x is new string abc and we are just console locking this x instance of string and obviously when we are calling the with the new keyword then we call the constructor function string and this is now not a primitive value but but this is not this is an object and then x is obviously instance of string because we have called the string abc with the help of constructor function with the help of keyword new so this should be obviously true pretty simple for those who have watched my tutorial back coming to this now this is basically something <laughs> related to arrays in JavaScript and in JavaScript we don't have primitive arrays first of all we only have arrays and objects as an objects if you saw my videos in the past I have always used the keywords like arrays are special kind of objects in JavaScript and what that means is in JavaScript we don't have primitive arrays so what actually means is for example if we create an array like X and we do type of or basically X instance of array then it would return us true and if we do new array with like X and we do x instance of array and it would still return us true and finally if we do array just simply array notice I haven't used the new keyword down here and I do x instance of array and it would again return us true now what's happening here is and how it is different for example if I create a keyword or a string abc then x here is not an instance of the object string and if we do string abc and x is still not instance of string but if we do the use if we use the keyword new then we are calling the constructor function and basically now the string is actually an object and not a primitive value so now x is an instance of string pretty good but in JavaScript in arrays as I showed you earlier we don't have any primitive values so what's happening here is 
when we add two arrays instead of getting an array as a result JavaScript treats them as strings now because of concatenations so for example I have like element 1 as a number in array and element let's say 2 in another array and if I concatenate these two then what we'll get is 1 2 and basically this operator down here is acting as a concatenation right here because we are not supplying any index number down here so basically this concatenates two arrays and we get two however and one two and remember we are getting the output as a string but however if we do it like one zero and basically now it refers to the value one and we are doing like two zero then what we'll get is one plus two is equal to three as you can see now if we do like one zero plus two then it refers to one plus two which is again 12 as you see so basically concatenating two empty arrays returns us an empty string and then we are just appending the string with foo and we are then just splitting this foo into this thing but what's the difference is in this example I performed these all in the separate steps but what's happening here is the split keywords creates a array of the letters when we supply uh, like opening and closing single quotes in the parenthesis of split so what would you be expecting is creating an array of foo but what's happening here is we are creating the array and then assigning a string an empty string basically concatenating an empty string to this array and just like arrays I showed you if I concatenate an empty string right here then it gets converted into a string itself so basically this will return us an array but if I do add an empty array to this so what this would return us is foo now basically what's happening here is this this is treated as this as I showed you here so this returns us foo pretty simple if you understand so the correct answer is foo as a string separated by comma okay coming to the last question and I guess I took much time in this question anyways so two string method okay so we have this new array 5 we are creating an array of length 5 and we are just doing a two string so basically new array 5 creates an empty array of 5 with undefined values or null values as the values so if we do like this thing above is equal to null 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 okay so now if we convert this to a string then obviously JavaScript would eradicate all these null elements and what it would leave is all these commas and we have the commas as 1, 2, 3 and 4 4 commas down here and if we do extra 2 string then we get only these commas because JavaScript automatically eradicates or removes these null elements because we don't need them so the output is obviously this one correct okay so this was the next 5 questions of David Sheriff's Mr. David Sheriff the Great uh, JavaScript quiz and I hope you enjoyed the quiz and do go forward and attempt these next 10 questions yourself and if you find any problem then you are free to watch my next video which will be, I will do in question number 11 to 15 and then finally from 16 to 20 so stay tuned with me and thanks for watching the tutorial